So I am uh, pleased to present um, uh, Jane Harrison and Whitney Nolenberg are going to talk about the development of the North Carolina Oyster Trail, which is pretty exciting. All right. Hey, everyone. Thanks for being here. My name is Jane Harrison. I work for North Carolina Sea Grant. I'm based at North Carolina State University in Raleigh. And I just want to talk to you all a little bit about the development of the North Carolina Oyster Trail. Um, this has been a really fun endeavor to go down. And I've been working with a lot of great partners, um, shellfish growers throughout the state, restaurateurs, folks in the tourism industry. And I'm joined today by tourism professor Whitney Nolenberg from NC State, who's also helping develop uh, this new effort. OK. So what are the goals here? I actually can't read that, and I haven't looked at this in a while. But I'm pretty sure that we are trying to provide additional economic benefit to the oyster mariculture industry, um, to our working waterfront communities throughout the coast. Um, we also really want to contribute to and elevate the brand of North Carolina oysters through a cohesive tourism experience and product in the coast. And we also want to increase direct tourism spending. So tourism is huge for the coastal economies in North Carolina. And the more that we can integrate oyster mariculture and the oyster industry into tourism, I think the more that we'll see social license for the industry and the ability to really promote the industry to all of the community leaders and the elected officials that need to hear more about the great benefits of what this industry is doing. Now, there have been a number of recommendations and groups that have been working on this over the years. Um, these are just some recommendations for the Oyster Trail from uh, uh, some business students in the Keenan Flagler School at UNC. And this is just to give you an idea of the type of tourists that might be interested. I think a lot of us, you know, we're thinking about the oyster connoisseur, we're thinking about that person who really wants to try oysters from, you know, every part of the coast, who understands, you know, how briny they are and how earthy these ones are. Um, but there's a lot of other folks that are interested in oysters and we can bring them into the fold of this industry by thinking about, you know, what motivates them as tourists, what motivates them to visit the coast. So we're thinking about the beer lover who maybe doesn't want to eat oysters, but will happily chug down an oyster saison. We're thinking about the folks, the parents, the families that want to go to the aquarium. They want their kids to understand the environmental aspects and benefits of oysters. We're thinking about the science enthusiasts, um, maybe the oyster nerds. We're thinking about folks who are outdoorsy, people who want to do an eco tour and kayak out and see an oyster farm. So when we say oyster trail, you know, we're working a lot with the growers and the restaurants, but we're thinking larger than that as well. I'm also thinking about artisans, folks that have art that's related to oysters and seafood in the area. Now, there's been a lot of work on this in the past few years. Um, I've been with North Carolina Sea Grant for five years, and I think since I started, I've heard this conversation about, you know, let's get an oyster trail going. Um, as many of us know, Virginia has an oyster trail. So as we all try to do in the South, let's, uh, you know, just repeat a few of their successes. Um, I remember I was traveling around Virginia for another project, had nothing to do with oysters, and all of a sudden I found myself at a winery. Um, I might have been in a state car. Um, <laughs> but, you know, what I found, I went in because they had a sign that said Oyster Trail. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. What are they doing at the winery for the Virginia Oyster Trail? And so they had some oyster shells, and you could paint them. Um, you could draw on them. You could create your own art. And so we're really thinking about you know, organizations and businesses that can integrate oysters in some kind of fun way for visitors. And that can be really whatever the business or organization wants to do that they think makes sense with their current business model. So mainly, I've been working with shellfish growers in the Outer Banks. Um, so that's Hyde and Dare County. I've been working with some really uh, key players and partners from the North Carolina Coastal Federation, Aaron Fleckenstein and Leslie Vegas. Um, we have a lot of support in the Outer Banks on this effort from the 
uh, coastal provisions, hey Dan, um, in a restaurant support from Outer Banks Visitors Bureau, um, Jeanette's Pier, an education uh, you know, site, um, the Hatteras Island Ocean Science Center, and then a ton of amazing volunteers. And so we're rolling this trail out this spring as a soft launch for the Outer Banks. But we want to see it go coastwide. And so we're actually putting together a number of workshops to continue that effort and to make sure that our southern and our central coast of North Carolina are represented in this effort. Um, so I'm going to turn it over to Whitney just to talk a little bit more about some research that's going on related to mariculture tourism and specifically some workshops that we're doing that I hope you all will attend. So as Jane said, this has been an ongoing effort, but we're really excited to be bringing new partners on board, such as faculty and students from East Carolina University, um, as well as funding partners with NOAA, to do some research to actually understand the best possible solutions for a statewide oyster trail. So we're coming at this from the perspective of, we want this to be very successful for our growers as a new way of bringing in alternative revenue streams and really getting their brand out there. But we also want this to be a great win for the communities where these growers uh, work and, and live. So the communities that we'd like to um, contribute to are all up and down the coast. And we need a lot of work to understand what exactly this trail is going to look like uh, at a statewide level. So what we're doing right now, as Jane mentioned, is getting started with some workshops to work with uh, our growers, our tourism uh, marketers and developers, as well as partners in food and beverage, lodging, the arts, education, uh, to really gain an understanding of what all the potential assets are to build this trail. So we're working on goals like determining the existing supply of shellfish mariculture tourism assets in North Carolina communities. Once we know what that is, once we know what the supply looks like, we want to be able to match that with the demand. What do tourists actually want? What do they want to see on this trail? What kind of uh, activities do they want to participate in? How much would they pay to participate in these type of activities? And so we'll also be establishing an understanding of demand from those tourists um, through a couple of different avenues uh, over the next couple years. And what that will allow us to do is to identify the gaps. What do we have in terms of supply existing that meets the demand of those tourists? And what I'm really excited about is what can we develop to meet that, that demand from the tourists. So what are some new ideas that we can bring to the table, whether it's tours on farms, whether it's uh, connections between the farmers and the uh, restaurant tours or the markets where people can buy uh, North Carolina grown oysters and clams. We are really excited about identifying those opportunities um, to create experiences for tourists. Uh, and then we'll actually be able to generate some strategies um, to, and recommendations for development in the future. And oh, there we go. Down, down, there we go. So here's where we need you. All of those North Carolina growers in the room, uh, we are having a couple of workshops. One is today um, at lunch. Some of you may have been able to talk with Jane yesterday about that or have already signed up. So thank you. We are really looking forward to seeing you for that. We'll be over at Edward Teach Brewing uh, from 12 to 1.15. It's just a really short walk right up the way uh, to Edward Teach, and we promise we'll get you back here by 12.30 for those, those talks. Uh, sorry, 1.30 for those talks at 1.30. Um, and Jane's got her number on there uh, if you are still looking to register for that. If you cannot make it today and you're in the area, we would love to see you um, up in Moorhead City at Seamast on the 4th of March. Uh, we'll be doing uh, another workshop at 2 o'clock at that time, and you can email me. My uh, address is up there on the screen if you would like to register for that. So please come be a partner with us. Uh, we're really looking forward to working with you and finding ways to get uh, a great brand out there for North Carolina oysters.